yo yo what is going on guys it is your boy darren coming at you with a, another doj rp fleet friday video now i'm gonna go a little bit off the beaten path this is the new san andreas highway patrol fleet i know you guys saw me stream this yesterday but i'm gonna go more into detail you guys were asking me in the stream and everything like that to go over all the new stuff that the vehicle has and everything like that do do a close-up and i'm like no 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 i I, tr I had to hold myself back because we were going to be doing the fleet friday the very next day which is today but first before i go over any of that stuff i'm gonna go over our new uniform as well because you might see that this uniform is green you guys are not used to that i am sure but this uh this right here is actually my insignia from my rank that is the assistant commissioner insignia right there on my collar and if i go through player appearance pet customization I can change it so that is the chief highway chief and that is the highway assistant chief then we're gonna go to our captain uniform and just our regular patrol uniform and then we have obviously here is the lieutenant the commissioner with those three stars I don't know if you guys can see that right there the assistant commissioner and then sorry the deputy commissioner and then this is the assistant commissioner chief assistant chief and then it goes to green which is captain commissioner deputy commissioner assistant commissioner chief and assistant chief so that's going to be all of those going into the shirt accessories we have a new vest a new tactical vest and then we have this as well which says SAHP on the back and then if we press enter one more time it says SAHP special operations i don't know if you guys can see that but just trust me it says special operations on there so super super cool this creates the drop like holster and then badges and logos is going to change whether or not you know if we have if we have this um we would have this one instead and then that's going to be our corporal logo sergeant logo and then regular like that so super super cool we have all the glasses but i'm not going to go too much into that we also have badges and stuff like that that i'm not gonna go too much into but uh we also we also have all this stuff as as well um going on here and you can see some stuff changing but anyways without further ado let's get to why you guys clicked on this video i know why you guys clicked on this video you guys know why you clicked on this video so let's just get straight into it and actually i think funny enough i land on my name oh no actually that says devon well i'm devon for this video i'm just kidding i'm not devon but let's go straight into it today i'm going to be showing you guys the 2016 and 2011 and 11 crown victoria boom for the san andreas highway patrol right off the bat we can see some wigwagging headlights right here from the 16 charger let's get that close-up look man this looks absolutely beautiful beautiful the attention to detail is just incredible in this vehicle i absolutely love it safety service and security as we walk around the back here going on to the crown victoria Again, we see that attention to detail. Just everything looks so clean, so slick. Everything just flows so nicely. Everything is at the highest of quality when it comes to this vehicle's made as close as possible to the real life San Andre to the real life California Highway Patrol as we could get. Spent over a little close to a month continuously working on these vehicles i mean the developer put so much time and effort into these cars and they look absolutely amazing and it shows just everything looks so beautiful all the way down to the lights so let's go ahead and back out of this let me just check real quick make sure i gave you guys the right year for the charger and yes i did 2011 cvpi so we're gonna go ahead if you guys don't know how this works what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in the video jump in the vehicle do a walk around of it show you uh 
show you guys all the cool little quirks and features that it has to offer and give a little bit of an explanation for each car so right off the bat we're gonna go ahead and open up all these doors and let's go ahead and step out that's fine we can look at the uh, prisoner bay from the back coming around from the front the engine looks beautiful I mean it is just everything just looks so good we're gonna start with the Satina push bar with the two I believe these are federal signal lights on the push bar coming around to the uh, including on the side these are some ions right here and coming around same thing on this side for that intersection lighting and of course that wig wagging effect in the uh, headlights coming around we see that typical CHP lighting pattern with the red steady burn in the center we can see that spotlight in the radar system right there now something you'll see is removed from this version that was in the last one is we no longer have mirror lighting and that's because the CHP do not use lights on their mirror coming in to the actual driver side we can see that uh, that MDT right there it's a little bit different than what we're used to we're used to seeing those Panasonic tough books that's not what we have here we have something uh, something different and this is actually what the CHP uses as their mobile data uh, terminal or MDT uh, abbreviated there you can see the developer of these vehicles in the center console. His name is Rapsy. Again, he spent so much time on these cars. The attention, the detail, the stitching, the lines. I mean, I've been in my fair share of chargers in real life, and I can tell you this is what they look like. It is a beautiful, beautiful looking car. The only thing from being in a charger that I notice that is not realistic to what a charger actually looks like in the inside is a charger does not have its gear shift on the steering wheel it has it on the center console other than that this vehicle is about as spot on as it can get moving along to the back into the trunk let's go ahead and get stood up our trunk is empty but again you can still see the stitching the the carpet texturing in the trunk the amount of effort that went into this is just incredible coming around to the back in the prisoner partition we can see those hard plastic seats with the Satina uh, um, prisoner partition and then coming around to the side we don't have any coffee or anything like that no seat organizer we do have the shotgun and M4 right there if you guys can see it and then we have the watch guard um, dash cam I lost my wording there for a second looking at the light bar obviously again this is meant to resemble the California Highway Patrol so we have the red and blue with the amber flashing in the back and then the blue and red in the front as well and then we're gonna get up on top we can see those we can see the unit numbers let's go ahead and stand up on top of the car if we can no it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to but you can see that 520 that's gonna be your patrolling district so and we'll get into that in a second let's go ahead and close everything up trunk hood uh, get these doors closed front left and front right and that is going to be it for the exterior of the vehicle let's turn off the hazards so we can actually see do a uh, spin around of the vehicle real quick just so you guys can get one final look from a third person camera angle now going in to the livery starting off in the liveries we have livery number one which is going to be your standard California highway or sorry San Andreas Highway Patrol I, I keep wanting to call it California Highway Patrol because they just look so close resemble so closely to the California Highway Patrol livery number one is going to be the 520 livery black and white livery number two is going to be the 530 livery black and white livery three 540 and livery number four is going to be the 510 now five, 510 stands for the supervisors of the San Andreas Highway Patrol so if you see 510 on the roof of the car and I mean it's just glowing just glowing it's so beautiful the 510 is 
means supervisor for the San Andreas Highway Patrol. So if you see one of these chargers or any of these cars rolling around and they have a 510 on top of them, uh, that is because that is a supervisor driving that car. And then, of course, we have the unmarked delivery going on right here. Livery number zero is going to be the supervisor livery, but in black and white. So um, you, you have a supervisor, you have a vehicle with supervisor numbers in, in Snowball, which is our more traditional kind of everybody in San Andreas Highway Patrol and in the community knows Snowball means supervisor, but then you also have the supervisor numbers on a black and white. So now what does 520 and 530 and 540 mean? That is a, uh, a style of, um, that is your patrolling district. So they all represent a different district that you could be patrolling. Going on to the extras, let's go ahead and turn everything off and go through them one at a time. So doing a spin around of the vehicle real quick we can see that without any extras on that there is no that the only thing flashing is these wigwags right here we don't have anything flashing going on right here no red and blues nothing so livery extra number one is going to be the light bar for the charger extra number two is going to be the rear lighting this is going to be what you would use if you were in slick top mode which brings us on to extra number three which is going to be your red and blue light so let's go ahead and turn off the spotlight now the red and blue again is is uh brought to um resemble the california highway patrol as closely as possible i'll put a picture up on the screen right now of the California Highway Patrol Charger so that you guys can look and resemble it to this one from this kind of angle right here. Going on to extra number four, that's going to be the push bar for the Charger. And then extra number eight is going to add some antennas. And extra number 12 is going to add the spotlight right here to the front. And that is going to be it for the 2016 charger for the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Now this vehicle is unlocked at the rank of Trooper First Class. It is an absolutely beautiful vehicle. Um, just looks amazing. We're gonna, but we're gonna have the mechanic take it to the back. We still have that Dev the Devon badge uh, <laughs> on our shirt. Let's go ahead and take out the Crown Vic and see what this one has to offer as well going on gonna go straight into it we're gonna go straight into the liveries livery number one is gonna be the 520 530 and 540 so that's two through three livery number four is actually gonna be something that's different for this vehicle that the charger does not have this is gonna be our canine unit so we, we see the canine and then the stay back right there you can see one of our other troopers uh, pulling in to start his shift and then safety, service, and security. So this is going to be what the canine units would use right here. And looks, oh man, it's just a beautiful, beautiful looking vehicle. Extra number five is going to be, again, that 510 on the top. The Snowball Crown Victoria. We can see that the uh, Satina push bar here with those uh, federal, federal signal lightings on the push bar itself and then you can see the mirror lights right there the crown vics do use mirror lights in the chp and then obviously our chp light bar in the back with no wigwags there are no wigwags on this vehicle and then we can see all those antennas just littering the top of that car uh we were not done with the liveries going on to number six is going to be our unmarked variant for this vehicle going on to number zero is going to be our black and white but supervisor so 510 and that is going to complete it for the liveries for this vehicle again a beautiful beautiful looking car let's turn everything off and see what we're working with with nothing on it now with nothing on the vehicle the only thing we have is that red flashing pattern 
on the mirrors. Nothing else is flashing. Nothing else is working for us. Action number one is going to add us that light bar, but we're going to take it away for the purposes of this video. Action number two is actually going to add this ram bar right here with our siren. You can see that back and forth giving us some intersection lighting as well if we look at it from this side right here. Action number three, we're going to swing around to the back is going to be our light bar in the back. Again, very sleek, very nice looking. And then number four is going to be our uh, red and blue uh, window pod right there. Going on to action number five, that's going to add some antennas to the top. And action number eight is going to add an additional antenna right there. Going on to number 12, this is going to be our spotlight. So that's going to be the spotlight for this vehicle. Now, the only thing that this vehicle can't do is the license plate cannot change, but that is coming at a later version of this vehicle. Yes, that's right. I said it that these vehicles, as amazing as they are, are not even done. Let's continue on and do the walk around of the outside of this vehicle. Now, while I'm getting ready to do the walk around of this vehicle, let me go ahead and say that this vehicle is unlocked at the rank of Chief Master Trooper. So you go probationary trooper, trooper, trooper first class, senior trooper, master trooper, and then trooper first class. So going around to the front, let's look at the engine bay very very detailed extremely detailed actually more detailed than we're used to seeing going around to the side again we have that uh that watch guard uh dash cam right there i keep forgetting the wording for this uh, for it, we have the developer right there in the center console, Rapsy. We can see our our uh, our light control system and our radio control system going on right there. And then I believe, actually, does this not have? Oh, it does. You can see back there, kind of tucked away, the shotgun and the M4. Coming around to the back, we can see that Satina prisoner partition. Uh, which that doesn't actually look like hard plastic that looks like some kind of fabric moving around to the back we can see a bay right here for um, for like our ALPRs and our battery and our processors things like that we'll go back there and again the attention to detail in the trunk coming around to the side uh, nothing going on here as far as no coffee or anything like that no seat organizer or anything of that sort so that is going to be it for this vehicle and that is going to conclude this episode of fleet friday i hope you guys enjoyed and as always i really do appreciate you guys leaving a comment down below with any comments or suggestions tell me what vehicle you would like or what vehicles you would like to see uh two weeks from now next week is going to be the two remaining vehicles for this pack so that has already been decided and as always don't forget to like share and subscribe this has been your boy darian i will see you guys next time uh deuces